We're going to continue using our place value understanding in unit one of fourth grade by comparing whole numbers. Again, this whole first unit of ready math in fourth grade is using what we know about place value and expanding that out from our basic understanding of ones, tens, and hundreds to bigger numbers all the way up to like the thousands, or sorry, the millions, all right? So through the thousands up to a millions. And so we're going to compare whole numbers in lesson two. So in ready math, here's a problem from the book. It says there are 23,643 fans of a football game last week and 23,987 fans of the football game this week. Which game had fewer fans? That's what we're trying to find out. So one strategy we use is, again, using that place value chart. All right, so it's gone beyond just hundreds, tens, and ones, and now we're working in the thousands, ten thousands, or even maybe the hundreds, thousands place up to a million. So what they've done is they filled in the place value chart with our two numbers, 23,643, 23,987. Right, so they filled it in with each place value. And separating it like this in place value form um, helps, us, helps us to compare a little bit easier. Now remember, when you're trying to compare numbers, you start with the largest place value. So I'm gonna start with the 10,000s place. And I notice that in 10,000s place, both of them have a digit of two. So when they're the same digit, well, we know that it's exactly the same. So we're gonna look at the next digit to the right, all right? And in this one, in the thousands place, they also have the same digit, all right, three. And again, I look back at my original problem, both of them have 23,000 to start to the number, all right? So for me to be able to compare, I've gotta find the first digit where they're different, because if they're exactly the same all the way through, then we know those would be equal, all right? So we're gonna to skip to the first digit that we have that's different, and that's here in the hundreds place. So that's the first place value that I'm gonna look at in order to compare my numbers and decide which one's bigger and which one's smaller. So then if I think about just the hundreds place, 600 and 900, or if I think back to my place value blocks, if I have six of the square blocks representing 600 or nine of the square blocks representing 900, then I know that 900 is more than 600. So therefore this number right here, on the bottom is going to be, I'm gonna put a little L here, that's our larger number, and then this is our smaller number, all right? 23, sorry, yeah, 23,643 is smaller than 23,987. So in the question in the book, it says which game had fewer fans? Well, we know right here that this one is our smaller number. So it would be, the game that happened last week is the one that's fewer or smaller, okay? Now, the other part of this lesson is you're gonna go beyond comparing them with just a place value chart, and you're gonna to start to use our symbols, what we call our inequality symbols, and those are these symbols right here. I'm gonna circle them in red for us, just to draw your attention. These are what we call the inequality symbols, and we use them to compare. And then sometimes we also, like I said, might have the equal sign if the numbers are exactly the same, all right? So we know these numbers are from the problem up here that they are different numbers. So I know that they are not equal, all right? So I have to use one of these symbols. I put question marks around here because sometimes these symbols can be confusing. When you were in earlier grades and you started seeing these symbols, they were referred to as maybe like the alligator. So we talked about the alligator eating the bigger number, okay? So as we're starting to compare them in fourth grade, we wanna stop thinking about them as alligators. We wanna call them by their names and use them correctly, all right? So which one of these makes sense? Would it be this symbol or this symbol, all right? Remember, we've already looked at this number up here. I know that 643 is smaller than 987. So I know this number over here is the smallest number. I'm gonna put that back up here, just so we see it visually when we're done here. So this is the smaller number, oops, yes. That's the smaller number, 
That's the larger number, okay, just like we had up here. But which symbol are we supposed to use? So remember, you can use those tricks you had before about the alligators, all right? But we really want to start referring to them the name that they're called. So this means that this is greater than this, all right? Greater than this. So 23,643 is greater than 23,987. Does that make sense? No, because this is not the greater number. This is our smaller number. So this would be the symbol we want to use. 23,643 is less than 23,987. Okay, so remember, we're going to start using the names officially, all right, and not thinking about alligators, but thinking about what the symbol is called, and that is the less than symbol that we want to use in this example. 23,643 is less than 23,987. So that is the correct way to use our inequality symbol, the less than symbol, okay? Remember up here, this would be the greater than symbol. So this area here is bigger than this area over here, whereas this area here is smaller than this area right here. So this is the less than symbol. And that's what we would use to compare those two numbers.